Once again, I must endure the thrumming tedium of the departure lobby, where I'm meeting my holiday companion, male comedian Noel Fielding. Hi. Unbelievable. Late. How are you? I'm furious. <laughs> I'm furious. Don't touch me. Don't come near me. I've just been strip searched for two hours. If you look idea. like this, you tend to get hassled going yeah, through well, security. You look like Bianca Jagger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the wedding, yeah, yeah, it's no good. Airports are a bit of a pain, though, aren't they? I couldn't agree more. Mean You've got your little cases. case. Ugh. Oh, I have the solution. I've got. They I've call got, you the solution. They call me they? the solution haver. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. It's a stuffer jacket. What this does is you can put a load of stuff in the pockets. Wow. Hence stuffer, and it means that you can carry all of your luggage on your person. No more waiting in queues to check in bags. This is what they claim will fit into this jacket. Look at that. You're completely within your rights to board the plane and say there's nothing wrong here. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good. What do yeah. you reckon? I think it's good. <laughs> what have you got Check there? this. This is the re-timer glasses. This fires a green light into your eyes to reset your sleep balance. Wow. You just have to wear it 35 to 50 minutes a day and you'll never feel jet-lagged again. It claims... How's that looking? You look like Will I Am. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I just feel... I just feel right in this yeah. stuff. Now, the last thing is the stadium pal. Stadium pal. It's the freedom to urinate whenever you wish, however you wish, into a pipe and into a bag. From here on out, you can urinate at a time that suits you rather than when the so-called pilot says you can. This allows you to urinate up to 1,000 mil, because I know that you are a like, powerful urinator. When you urinate, it's like a riot hose. I know this. So this sort of goes here. I think that goes at the bottom. And then the other thing attaches to your... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's sticky yeah. as well, yeah. so there's it's no terrific. way that... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> The Frenchmen better watch themselves, yes. because when they see this coming at them, they're going to know. That's right. <laughs> Come on. Let me pick you up a £15 sandwich. OK. Ladies? Hello. Something oh. bad is happening yeah. to us. Oh. A friend of mine got touched up on a ghost train once. Yes, sort of put me off theme parks for a while. Oh, I just... This bit I don't need. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh! Look at Good grief. My body's telling me it's wrong. It's telling me it's wrong. Oh, this, this is horrendous. <laughs> it's sort of better than I thought it was going to be. It's terrible. <laughs> Oh, good night. <laughs> oh, that was quite good. Oh, Again. Great. Again. <laughs> Why? What is it? Someone specifically asked for their stomach to feel pre-vomit. Any place where a number of people are screaming <laughs> is somewhere I try and avoid. One more? No. Come yeah. on, Inspector Gadget. You I'm, enjoyed I'm, that. No, I'm leaving. <laughs> Squeeze levels at DEFCON, we decide to switch gears. Gallopin has been played by Copenhageners for almost 50 years. You want to go on Gallopin? I do like Gallopin. Gallopin. Hey, Pat, are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Ready, set, go. I was born ready for Gallopin. This is more our speed for gentlemen of our age, isn't it? Yeah. Gallopin. Yes, Come on, let's get Gallopin. Yeah. Let's get Gallopin. There we go. There's Gallopin. I could spend all day at the galloping table. There we go. That's right. Are you in the lead? Oh! That, my friends, is galloping. <laughs> what a game of galloping. Thank you. You get that token to keep. You put on your galloping trophy board. That's some of the best galloping I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm so pumped you for Gallopin. You were Gallopin like it was going out of style. They call me Dr Gallopin. That's the highlight of the entire trip. Get involved. Yeah. And smurble. We're going to sit side by side? Yeah. That's how you always sit in a cafe, isn't it? So you can check the exits. I've pre-ordered some stuff so that we don't have to have two interactions. Some fascist decided that smurble has to be eaten left to right and washed down with a glass of schnapps. It's very pleasingly put together. 
I might just varnish it and wear it like a pirate's hat. Would you like to know what you're having? I would like that. Okay. Yes, please. So for you, you have the beetroot here. The next one is the pork. Yes. With pear. Okay. And the next one is the rump. The rump. It looks beautiful. Thank you Thank very you. much. Enjoy. Gosh. Wow. Subway could certainly learn something from this. Presentation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mm. wow. Wow. Pretty good. You started in the middle. <laughs> oh. You left to right like you read. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm going to sip some snaps. Really? Mm. That's... I've got nothing to lose. You've got a lot to lose. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Woo! OK. Oh. <laughs> it's like Castrol GTX. <laughs> I'm just going to smell oh. it. Even you That's smelling too much. that will mean you'll probably leave here dizzy. naked. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you drunk once. Oh. It was unbelievable. What had happened? You did a, quite a lot of impressions of Orson Welles. Did I? Yeah. That's my, that's what I, you... my go-to. <laughs> I must have had a unit. <laughs> you were out of control. I don't know. What I quite like now, this must be an English thing, is a hot liquid. I feel like it would ease this down. Yes. Because everything's quite cold. And that's my, it's not a complaint, but I'm not used to eating Sounds food. Sounds quite a bit like a complaint. <laughs> it sounded like a complaint. <laughs> it wasn't a complaint at all. And that deafening all. silence that I just heard descend upon the kitchen. No, but I... As two of their staff <laughs> put their heads into their very cold <laughs> oven. <laughs> They've taken it pretty hard. <laughs> OK. As powerful as this is, I'm full. I'm going to leave this amount because that shows I had restraint. I don't want to touch this one because it's too beautiful colour-wise. And it's raw meat. Mel's going to love this. What's I'm on this? The, I'm on the barbecue donut. I can Lord. read the barbecue donut. Yeah. How's it working out for you? It's good. Oh. oh! One of the things that is not very good about being in the middle of the ocean is the inability to barbecue. That you have no access to a barbecue. You can't. You're out in the ocean, you're a little bit peckish. You've not barbecued until you're seasick. <laughs> it's for some of the best barbecuing you'll ever do. It's the brainchild of this man. Hi. Hey. Sebastian Schmidt. Look at him. He's I amazing. He's a real man. Not it's like, like Jason me and you. Statham's just hopped aboard. I Constructed like from thermo resistant plastic to prevent its very hot charcoal barbecue from melting through the hull, its donut shaped chassis seats up to eight meat eaters. Are you were ready for a ride, yeah? I'm always ready for meats on the ocean. You're not drunk, are you? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I am. Does that matter? 